Yeah, the Devil's Dozen. Another film I did with some friends, uh, Jeremy London, TV, who's a TV star from him and his brother, uh, Jonathan and London. They're, you know, I guess Jeremy was mall rats and he was on a TV show for a while. I forget which one, maybe Seventh Heaven or something like that. But he's been a buddy of mine for years and uh, he's his, fil- his first film directing. So it's uh, C. Thomas Howell, me, and a handful of other cats that we shot this crazy film that's us kind of like going to hell. Just a crazy. Going to hell? It's like we're in limbo, kind of. Suspense, thriller. It's kind of dark. All, maybe horror, horror. Suspense horror. I mean, there's blood. <laughs> there's blood. There's blood. People get, everyone gets killed. That kind of thing. It's fun. Mystery. I guess mystery is good. Mystery suspense. Very cool. Oh, yeah, working with Tom Sizemore. I guess it's called Murder 101. It used to be called Class, but now it's Murder 101. He, uh, Tom Sizemore's cool. He's a crazy dude. I mean, he's definitely, you know, legend in his own right around Hollywood and, and the work he's done. And, and he's infamous just because he's Tom Sizemore. But uh, just hanging out with him on set, he's very interesting dude. Very has great stories and is a little bit crazy but you know what actor isn't and uh i had a good time with that guy you know he's and, and still a really great actor really fine actor like really intense really there to do the work um but he just has great great hollywood stories and great just kind of guy guy palling around but like we were throwing a football around with each other i guess he was like a big uh, quarterback in his high school and stuff like that. So I was like, wow. Oh, really? And he's actually he was good. I was like, wow, this guy's friggin' can throw the ball good. And that's a crime film? Uh, yeah, he's a detective and it's, I'm a student at uh, a college and people will get killed and things happen. You know, it's God, like, you're in a lot of killing. You I know, you know what it is? Independent th- cinemas, like a lot of people write suspense and, 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 and horror slash suspense. I think it's, when you don't have a lot of money for a lot of special effects, if you can write, if you can write a good suspense mystery or something like that that takes no money for special effects, you're 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 good. You're ahead of the game. Sure. I just got back shooting a doc uh, from the Philippines, shooting a documentary. I brought my family back to the Philippines, many of them for the first time ever. So that's crazy. I mean, it looks like we may be selling a piece of the product for uh, uh, the footage for a travel show, uh, both here and in the Philippines, and then the rest of the footage is going to be cut up for this documentary. Um, my point of view is it's, you know, America, we're a nation of immigrants, and this is a, an American story. We just happen to be Filipino. It comes a time in, you know, in everyone's life or family's life, like, they got to go home and find out where they're from. And ironically, it strengthens uh, not only your ties to your homeland, but it also strengthens us as, as Americans, because you do go home and you find out that you, as much as you think you are Filipino, you, everyone there thinks of you as American. And you think of yourself as American, too, when you get back. But then you also get to find places where we ultimately wound up on the land that our family's been owning for years, hundreds of years, uh, the rice fields that my dad's family comes from. And oftentimes as Americans, we always go, you know, where am I from? Like, where am I really from? And to be standing there and realizing this is it. You know, you're looking at your grandfather's youngest sister who still is inhabiting the land in bamboo huts no electricity, no running water, and pretty much living the same way that, you know, your family has lived for the last few hundred years. It's mind-blowing and emotional at the same time, and uh, I don't know exactly how it affects me as an artist ultimately, but you just know it, it does, things like that. And then um, beyond that, there's, we're developing a, a bunch of, there's a bunch of films with Kinetic. It's a, a biopic piece that I'm really excited about that we're trying to close up. And then there's also, um, we're, Going to get involved, it looks like, in TV slash web series space. So there's a few productions that we're co-producing, um, possibly for a web series and also to pitch for, you know, network TV, that kind of stuff.